I'm listening to uh, my dinner with my dinner with Andre, which is uh, this really kind of fun uh, offshoot podcast from uh, William Bibiadney and uh, Whitney Seibold, where they invite various critics, maybe even people as well as critics, to uh, sit down and watch uh, my dinner with Andre, the 1981 Wally Sean. Greg, Andre, Andre, <laughs> Andre Gregory um, uh, film, My Dinner with Andre, um, where the two characters played by Wally and Andre have dinner and have this kind of wide ranging discussion. And uh, Wally is shown as the more struggling, struggling person, uh, struggling kind of actor playwright where Andre is very kind of wealthy successful, able to go on like trips, kind of lots of spiritual trips and stuff like that. I watched that. I watched my dinner with Andre whew, probably in the eighties, maybe. Yeah, probably in the eighties, like on VCR at some point. Um, but uh, it's one of those things like, I think I might actually like to go and might, you know, get a copy of it and watch it and do my own kind of reaction to it. Uh, just because I've been enjoying everyone's different takes on it. And it's like, oh, what would my take be on it now? Because like I have a memory of it. Um, but it's a pretty vague one. So it would be cool to kind of go back and actually try it again. Um, as someone said, it's like, it's almost like podcast the movie. Like, you know, this idea of, you know, two people just sort of sitting down and having a long extended discussion for a good while even though this was actually quite scripted uh it just seems natural because you have two gifted playwrights who are scripting themselves uh and doing it um and being filmed by uh uh andre mal the uh director of uh of various various movies <laughs> which uh, none of them were I can remember at the moment. Someone was actually at the one I'm listening to at the moment, making the point of the whole idea of like, you know, uh, the kind of the wealth, the wealth stuff of like, you know, what your wealth affords you to be able to go on spiritual things or, you know, to do therapy. And I think about that for myself because um, I just, I think about what I've sort of turned this channel into which um, I'm not saying it's me in a therapy section, session, but I think it actually is therapeutic that I just sort of sit and talk about things as much as I find sometimes uh, the times I've written it, I've made a journal, I've done a journal thing and I've kind of talked about things in general there. I found that therapeutic. Um, I found this channel in specifically just these dark episodes where I kind of just talk about stuff, not necessarily books, just sort of my life in general, uh, as sort of therapeutic. Um, if not there, well, yeah, therapeutic, uh, the, the dark episodes where I just sort of sit and I talk and I kind of let off steam at the end of the day and it helps me relax in a way which is, um, is odd. It's like, um, yeah, I don't have someone I'm, I don't have a therapist that I'm going to. I don't think anybody can, well, not anybody. It's the people who can afford to go to a therapist year after year or day after day is, is fairly rare. Um, but that said, you can kind of create your own spaces where you can try and explore stuff, release stuff. Uh, I mean, you know, there's a lot to be said for having an outside ear to listen to you and to kind of reflect things back at you in slightly different ways. Well, there's my, uh, there's my low battery for, for all my yakking and listening and, and watching YouTube videos that's come up. God, how horrible to see those eyes glaring back at myself for a second, just when I was talking about uh, not having that reflection back. Um, 
even though I don't have that, it is interesting to just sort of listen to myself talk in a way and uh, to cogitate and to process things at the end of the day uh, in a, it's not structured manner, but a, in a fixed manner of I press record, I press stop at the end, and in between I get, I get some sort of, um, I get some release, I get some kind of a conjuring, I, I put, I'm putting, I'm painting a word picture for myself, and I get to look at that word picture, even if sometimes I never go back and I never actually listen to these videos, I just put them, I toss them into the sea. God, now I'm, I'm to the into the hackneyed messages in a bottle. Ugh. Okay, I'm gonna stop right now. This all came from. Hmm, I think I would like to actually watch my dinner with Andre, and uh, do a little reflection of it on here. That is a thought. Maybe I will. I'll try and title this uh, in my cryptic, uh, devoweled way, in a way that maybe I will notice that and try and it will remind me to uh, do that rent my dinner with Andre or track it down somewhere. All right. Good night.